How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be going over some of the useful expressions that can be found in the lists tab at the bottom of your expression assistant. The first one we're going to be going over is select. This is the one I probably add the most to any given app. This is very useful um, in a lot of situations where you want to return a list of objects. One situation I use this a lot is for filling in valid ifs in enum or enum list data types. This allows you to dynamically assign data to your dropdowns and can be incredibly useful. Now, if you want to know more about how to use the select expression itself, we will be releasing a video on it and other in-depth expression videos in the future. If you'd like to see those, feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notifications for when those are released. Next, we're going to be talking about the ref rows expression. Now, when I said select was the one I add most to the app, I said that because ref rows could very well show up in your app more, but it's added automatically by app sheet. This is the expression that helps you um, create the inline views in the detail views. So specifically, if you have an employee and at the bottom you have all of the related orders that a, an employee has created, that related orders table has come from the ref rows expression. This is added as a virtual column at the end of your columns and you can find it um, inside of the column section of data. So this one is very handy to use if you're ever wanting to create your own inline view or if you're wanting to change it up a, a little bit. The last one I'm going to be talking about is any. Now there's a few other useful um, things in this tab top, order by, filter. These come up every once in a while, but the any expression, specifically in combination with the select expression, is the one I probably see the next most often. Now, when you're trying to return only one value, there's from a separate table, or even from the table you're in using a condition, there's two ways to do it. One, you can learn the lookup expression in the other tab. Now, you could do that. It just means you have to learn the syntax of another expression. The other way you could do it that might be a little bit easier, and the one we use a lot at Crew Technologies, is by using the select expression and the where the select condition returns just one value, and then wrapping that expression inside of the any expression. What any does is it choose one, chooses one random value from a list and returns that value. Now, since the select expression we're putting inside only has one value in it, we guarantee that it's returning exactly the value we're looking for. This is an incredibly helpful tool, um, and since select always returns a list, even if you know there's only one value that meets the permission, or excuse me, meets the condition, any can help you um, re dynamically return a specific value that you're looking for. An example of this is when I'm trying to return the role from an employee's table based on the current user. I'll use the select expression where email equals current user's email and then wrap that inside of an any expression t to make sure I'm returning just the role of this current user. It is That's probably the most common use case I have for any in combination with select. Now, like I said, this is just a brief overview. If you'd like to know more specifically about any of these expressions, please let us know in the comments below or look for our videos in the future. Thank you so much for coming. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.